We have the output of the amplifier hooked into the power meter. We have the power meter set to measure relative dB, which is what we've been talking about all along. So the output right now is zero, and if I hook up the amplifier to the power meter, we should see an increase in reading. And there you see it's a measured 22.14 dB of power gain. That measures really well compared to the other methods we've been using and I'm happy with being able to measure the three different ways. We measured with the spectrum analyzer, we measured with the oscilloscope, and we measured it with the power meter. Out of those, those three measurements, the power meter is probably the most accurate because it has about a 1% accuracy or rating. One thing we haven't talked about now up to this point is we've just measured in dBs. The dBs are just a ratio of power. 3 dB of power gain is a doubling of power, but it could be from 1 watt to 2 watts, 100 watts to 200 watts, or 1 megawatt to 2 megawatts those all would be 3 dB of power gain. So let's take a look at absolute power measurement. Absolute power is measured in dBm or dBw. dBm is power relative to 1 milliwatt into 50 ohms normally, but if it's a different resistance it'll be specified. So 1 milliwatt into 50 ohms is 0 dBm. So let's take and set up the output of our signal generator to 0 dBm and then we'll measure the output power of the amplifier in absolute power in dBm. Now what we're showing is the output of the signal generator is at 0 0.03 dBm. That's about as close as I can set the generator, but that's, that's pretty close. So let's go ahead and hook that up to the amplifier now. We'll give the sensor a little bit of a chance to stabilize and we get an output power reading of 21.54 dBm. What we're seeing now is 21.7 dBm power. That's an absolute rating. It's 21 dB greater than the 0 dB that we started out with. So you could actually calculate it. We started out with 1 milliwatt and now we're 21.7 dB greater than 1 milliwatt. So by now you should be tired of doing the power in different methods, using different methods, but one of these methods should work for you if you have the test equipment to work with. One thing I've been doing during this last power video is I've been running at 12 volts. This RF amplifier can run at 12 volts just as easily as 8 volts and it gives you slightly more gain. It's 22.16 here and I'm going to drop the voltage down. Now that's at 8 volts so you get you know about a dB or so more gain at 12 volts rather than 8 volts so it's your choice you've got 12 volts available anyway if you're using the, the kits and parts boards because some of the boards are designed for 12 volts so you could just as easily hook 12 volts up to this as 8 volts and you'll gain just a little bit more gain